say. Oh, no, I'm not going to say nothing wrong. I just want to say it wrong. I know I'm facing murder charges, but um, I want to confess that um, I'm not um, wait, I'm not um, miss, wait, no, I'm not going to um, I also sexually assaulted an inmate, and uh, I'm not homosexual, I'm not gay, or so I'm not um, um, you know, uh, I just want to say that I also sexually assaulted him in numerous ways, I don't know why they don't put him on the charge, um, but I just want to come up, shoot, tell the shoot and stuff. Okay, thank you, Mr. Tui. Mr. Tui has a history, as I said before, of severe mental illness. Uh, he has problems functioning uh, when he's not in some type of controlled environment. Unfortunately, our system uh, is uh, one based on uh, extremes. Either you are so mentally ill that you're incarcerated, or you're so mentally unfit that you're locked up at Hawaii State Hospital. Uh, Mr. Tui, most likely with medication, treatment, uh, could have functioned uh, fairly well. Unfortunately, that's not the case. He was released from Halava uh, earlier this uh, middle of last year and has had a series of problems since then that have resulted in his uh, reincarceration on misdemeanor charges at the Oahu Correctional Center. Uh, even in that sense, Mr. Tui, in my opinion, should have been in protective custody at OCCC. Given that the original injuries he sustained um, many years ago occurred at OCCC, uh, placing him in general population or having a uh, cellmate uh, was a, in my opinion, a, a grave error on their part. It doesn't excuse whatever occurred, and I, I don't know the facts. I don't represent Mr. Tui in any new matters. However, I'm very familiar with Mr. Tui's situation, and someone with his severe mental illness uh, should have been given, um, in my opinion, better treatment, isolated. Uh, they have suicide watch uh, facilities at OCCC. They have protective custody, single man cells for these situations to a place um, Joseph Tui in a cell with another inmate placed Mr. Tui at risk and certainly placed that other inmate at risk given his history of mental illness and assaulted behavior.